Hello everybody and welcome back to another edition of Matchbox Marks Diecast Restorations. So this project I'm taking on a, a couple classics, the Mercedes uh, truck and trailer. So the truck and trailer I got from my buddy Dan Russell. He sent me that in a, in a box full of cars. And the other one is a blue super fast, and I can't remember if I got that from Dan or not. I apologize, Dan, if I got that from you and I don't remember. Um, so anyway, one's a super fast, the other's a regular wheels. Now, I've always been, eh, I hate to say the word scared, but uh, apprehensive to do the, the green one because I don't know what color that is. So I need to do some research on it and see uh, what we've got. So anyway... So as we have seen these a thousand times before, this is the Mercedes truck. And that's the regular wheel, and this is the super fast. Now, the wheels on this are shot. I mean shot, they're, they're, it's, you can't even drive it. In fact, I should have uh, I had it uh, towed it on my wrecker, but my buddy is, uh, he's quarantined right now, so... Uh, I had to get it from other ways. So anyway, yeah. So, um, anytime you watch my videos, you'll see I've got a whole slew of these trucks. And they're actually really great, uh, parts holders. So I've got my little rivet heads, my little washers, and then my button screws. So large, medium, and small. So anyway, so yeah, uh, Project Mercedes trucks. Uh, excited to do this. So stay tuned as I take them apart. All right, so let's uh, check out what we've got here in the Mercedes trucks. I had to hook up the trailer. Oh, it just came unhooked. Uh, that's okay, I haven't done anything with the trailer yet because I gotta take off the axles. And then that little rivet just comes right out. So I'll put that back together. So anyway, so here's this truck. Let's take it apart and see what we've got. Already drilled the post. Pretty easy. Oh. There we go. Of course, we've got the front end all nasty, dirty, grungy. So I'll give that a good chrome bath. And then here's the window. And then, of course, I'll have to take off the axles. There's that one. And then here's this one here. So this one's a hot mess. Uh, it's got no hook on there, so I need to fabricate a hook. And this little thing holds on the wheels. So I might have some extra uh, super fast wheels. I'm going to check. So there's that. And then take this off here, comes right off, and there we go. Uh, I would say those wheels are probably not too salvageable. So anyway, if you ever watch uh, Paul the Restorer, man, you talk about a person with some mad skills and talent. He actually makes his own axles with these super fast wheels. And I'll tell you, he's got a homemade welding machine. And I'll tell you one thing, he is a genius when it comes to this stuff. So go check him out. And then here, here we go. Looks like the window unit just came out. So there we go. Some dirt and grime. And this is actually in pretty good unit, or pretty good shape. Clean that up with soap and water. I bet you'd be like brand new. So, all right, I'm going to take the rest of the wheels off and everything and see what we've got for pieces. So, stay tuned. All right, so I've got all of the Mercedes parts cleaned up and wire wheeled. Uh, I just got to take these to the primer, the main bodies. And window units came out really good. Put some polish on those. I'm going to paint the tires. And these are the super fast wheels. I'm going to keep these because I don't have any extras. I'm going to paint them and then crumb them out and put some new axles on there. They should be okay. 
And then this actually cleaned up, cleaned up pretty well. I'm not going to paint it. I'm just going to just put it back on. This, obviously, I'm going to chrome up. And let me see. One of these, I had to make a hook right back here. Uh, it's not exact, but it will do. Uh, it will pull a trailer. I do know that. So once I paint it, hopefully it'll look normal. All right. So stay tuned. I'm going to put a coat of primer on these things and see what kind of details we can see in them. Stay tuned. All right. So here are the Mercedes trucks primed up. So you can, well, let me see here. Oh, there we go. You can tell them a, tell them apart by this one. The wheels go in the little hole in the axle. So this is the green one. And just some awesome detail on these things. And these are really a pain to paint and strip and wire wheel with the beds and the wheel wells. I know that Time Rider loves doing wheel wells. He always shares that in his videos. And actually, that's sarcasm. He does not. He shared that a long time ago. So anyway, this one here is the blue one. And you can see the wheels on the bottom, how it goes in. So the axle just kind of like rides up in there. This is a super fast. So anyway, really digging these models. I've never done the Mercedes trucks. So uh, ch chalk it off my bucket list, I guess. So let me see here. There we go. All right. Cool model. So uh, stay tuned as I try to figure out the paint on these things. All right. So here are the Mercedes trucks. Painted up and everything's cleaned up and ready to go back together. Um, I did go with the gold color instead of that uh, blue color. Uh, mainly because the gold is a better color and it just looks better. So I did have a choice. And uh, this was supposed to be turquoise, but it turned out more of a green. But I think it actually looks like the original color. All right. Anyway, and replace the axles on the super fast. So that one I have to which I put the truck back together. All right, stay tuned for the final reveal. All right, it is time for the final reveal of the Mercedes trucks. So this was actually pretty easy and pretty fun. Uh, start off with the gold one here. I put a new hook on there to tow, and I had an extra canopy laying around, so I'm going to put it on this unit. Um, yeah, I wasn't a fan of the blue at all. Um, so I just went with gold and that is an authorized color. So, and then coming around, here's the other one. Uh, you know, I couldn't quite get turquoise, but I do like the way that the color turned out. And on the super fast wheel, I did replace the axles. And in previous videos, I've showed my technique. I take like old guitar string that I got. And I put these little beads on the end, and it kind of keeps the wheels on. Just put a little glue on them and then call it good. All right, so if you like this video, hit the like button, and I always, always appreciate you watching. Um, really, it's just fun to do this, and, and I just appreciate everybody. So stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one.